All right, so this is the hut, and um, that's the uh, rainwater barrel. If you need to wash up, uh, I use it for hand. We use it for hands and stuff, but just does that. And It'll, dishes. And dishes, it's good. You can use it for dishes. Come on inside. Okay, the only door we lock, uh, the only lock we lock is the deadbolt here. We're gonna leave you a key. Okay, this is the captain. We're gonna leave a key right underneath the captain there. Okay, in the shed. Okay. Here's Henry. Here's Henry. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so that's for the deadbolt. We don't lock this one. It's easy to lock. Okay. Welcome to the hut. Alright, this is the mudroom. There's your composting toilet. Okay. So in the summertime, we don't use it that much. You can use it for number one if it's um, inconvenient to go to the outhouse. But basically, you just do that and do your business. And uh, there's some lettuce and coffee in there right now. And then you just throw some, you know, a handful of wood chips on. And um, if you don't do that much in there, you could just leave it. Just make sure it's covered well with wood chips and we'll get it next time. Um, and so this is the sink. The water supply is here and it works by pumping it. So just camping rules, minimum water use. Um, you could spit in there and everything, but it just goes into the bucket, and then you dump the bucket at the end. Here's the refrigerator, um, and that works. And what else in here? I don't think you need anything else in here. Okay, here's the great room, and uh, this is the, <laughs> the galley over here. Um, you have to light it with the lighter. And just make sure you turn it off. It works good. It's pretty, yeah. The lighter seems a little low. Maybe bring a lighter. <laughs> Maybe bring a lighter in case. But the spark will work to light the thing. That's true. Just, you know, make sure you like right over it and turn it on. And it goes on. You can't see it because it's very bright out, but it's on. Okay, here's a radio. Radio, radio is great. Toaster oven here. Um, this is all self-explanatory. You don't need the wood stove. We keep the curtains closed when we leave, and we pull this down when we leave. Just like, take note of how it is when you get here and leave it the way it was. But like, we keep ventilation, and then we keep shade on the south side here, for obvious reasons. And um, bedroom, self-explanatory. We have clean sheets we can put on today, right? We do. Okay, so we'll do that. And um, if you want to learn the banjo, it's right there. Guitar. It's pretty straightforward. Um, okay. Oh, water is down here. We'll leave you. There's two gallons right now. We'll go fill this one. Okay. There'll be plenty of water. Um, if you need water, there's a spring. It's not running very uh, well right now because it's been dry. Just bring some water. I, you're going to have enough water, I think, if you don't. Stay that long. And um, has the water situated. There's a full one there, so I'll replace that so that'll be full. And um, then come on out here. We shut that door, Henry. Thanks. So this easy up is pretty easy to put up, but if you've never done one, it's less easy. Um, it's going to live in the outhouse. If you want to use it, you can. It's kind of a bear to do by yourself, but it is doable. Um, you could watch a YouTube on, uh, video on YouTube for that uh, information if, if you choose. It's pretty yeah. straightforward. Oh, and here's a grill. Yeah, you can use the oh, grill. The cover Henry. will be on it. You have to light it with the lighter because the lighting thing doesn't work. And it has um, a pretty cool uh, burner right here. Yeah. In case you want to use that. You want to cook outside. Alright, come with come with us to the, to the outhouse. Out. Okay, help yourself to uh, tomatoes. There's going to be tomatoes. Um, if you want, you can pull some garlic and use fresh garlic. Yeah. Okay, 
I just mowed, so it's going to probably be a little bit higher than you hear. Okay, here's the outhouse. So, um, there's a latch here. You kind of have to lift the door a little bit to get it in the hole. But we keep it latched so the wind doesn't blow it open. When you're here, it really doesn't matter. It's more for the winter anyway, but um, it will end up getting stuck open. So here's the outhouse. Um, you just, you do that and uh, there's some plies in there, but um, you should uh, you probably know what to do there. Um, toilet paper, there's um, wipes and um, hand sanitizer there. And then um, if you poop, um, just put uh, some of this straw, just drop it in there. That's all you have to do. Mm -hmm. And if you don't do that, nothing happens. It's fine. But it's just what we do. And if you want to use it at night, um, it has automatic lights that come on. Yeah. So right there. You just walk out the door of the hut, the light comes on there, and then you walk toward the outhouse, the light comes on, the inside light comes on. It's like magic. And um, so the spring. So if you're looking at the outhouse here, the spring is this way, and uh, do you want to, like, that's a lot of video. Let's do a separate show of the spring, and you want to walk to the spring with that on? I guess we can. Yeah, we can. Right. Maybe what we'll do is post this on YouTube to private, and then just yeah. share it. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Um, what else to know? Uh, that's George down there. He's a nice guy. And um, he may be here mowing at some point. If you're here, you can talk to him. Oh, look, there's uh, other birds. Yeah, I know. I saw that. That's really late for those flowers. Like two weeks later then. Uh-huh. Huh. It's running all right. It didn't work. No, it's actually a little better than it was yeah. um, okay. yesterday evening. So that's the spring, and uh, it's spring water comes up from the ground cold and delicious so you can come here it's a good place to cool off um, you can get water whatever and right <laughs> <laughs> um, so demonstrate use of the spring and rinse that little guy and then uh, I mean that's like your kitchen sink you know delicious so um, that works and um, that's it that's, I think all you have to know about the hut uh, we're uh, you'll have good uh, well you may not have good signal here if you don't have if you still have T-Mobile I don't know um, the library in Stanford um, has Wi-Fi and uh, that's good you can go use that um, in Stamford, uh, TP's is where you want to eat uh, breakfast and lunch. Um, it's good. And then there's a Topps grocery store, and there's a hardware store, and there's a thrift shop, and there's a Rite Aid, and Stewart's, and all the other stuff you need in Stamford. The hills to get here over Stamford uh, go in there. Just follow your GPS, but they're big hills, so just drive carefully. Um, and... Uh, just make it as you found it when you leave and um, the bucket so if you just if there's no poop in the bucket and it's just pee and there's just saw chips on it just leave it it's fine we'll get it next time or if you want you can dump it behind the outhouse behind the um, there's a fence there you'll see it but look there and you could you could dump it and then what we do is we dump the bucket there and then rinse it with the water that's under the sink with that um, that bucket waste water with that bucket and then rinse that bucket with water from the um, from the barrel from the rain barrel mm -hmm. let's demonstrate the use of did you open the spigot of the rain barrel okay that's pretty yeah, yeah that's yeah. straightforward it's pretty cool 
and you'll be fine. You'll figure it all out. Um, enjoy, and uh, that concludes our uh, training video for the hut.